I wanted to talk today about admin security. First off, managers get their security from two things. Managers get their security based on who's defined to report to them under the manager section. Whether we've labeled the supervisor or manager, this says who they can see. And inside that uh, manager one definition, you can say what they can see a little bit there. But then the second thing that controls what they see is their security group. So similarly, admins are the same thing. Here's where we can set what they can see using their security profile to determine <laughs> To set who they can see, we go down under groups and I'm going to click this view available groups. And here there's a filter for all company employees and you'll notice it's a system based one. It's developed by the system so any employee that's added goes automatically into this group. So if I wanted to set an admin that could see everything in the company, this is where I could do that. I'm going to click the pencil on Kathy. And you can see up at the top, I can set the date range once I pick who. And then I can say things like, what can they edit account information? Can they view performance reviews? What about pay statements? Can they view and edit them? Same thing on time, time off requests, schedules, and extra pay and counter adjustments. And let's pick all there so that makes that a little shorter. So you can say what all they can do specifically on those employees that we're defining them as a manager on. Once I've done that, now they can see the employees in this permission group. But what if you have an admin you don't want to see everybody, but you want them to see some particular employees? There's a couple of different ways you can handle that. You can either set up a manual security group where you go hand select the people that they can see, or you can do a filter base, which this is the most likely of the two, where you go write a filter and say, um, maybe it's only a particular department or a division, and you can set up a filter and then go in under view group permissions and set the group manager, just like we did under the all company employees. So once again, two pieces, the security profile tells what they can see and the group permissions tell who they can see. Hope that helps.